Hi, my name is Deb Johnston and welcome to Women Reinventing Midlife TV, where we aim to inspire women over 50 to thrive in a meaningful life that you desire and you deserve. Today, I'm going to be sharing a very simple five minute practice to reduce stress. But first, let's have a look at why reducing stress is important. Because I've heard the last couple of years, especially, many people have been experiencing a lot more stress than usual. And too much stress has a negative impact on our long-term health. And this is because too much cortisol is released into our body. And when this is happening on a regular basis, it can lead to other illnesses like anxiety and depression, uh, right through to diabetes, heart disease and cancer. So it's really important that we learn how to manage our stress. As we age, especially as women, it becomes even more important. And this is because as we go through menopause or even post-menopause, with too much cortisol being released into our body, it means that our body is producing even less estrogen than it normally would as we go through menopause. There seems to be a misconception around stress that it's caused by something that's happening externally to us when it actually isn't. The truth is stress is caused by not what's happening around us, but the way we perceive what's happening around us. And when we change that perception, it allows us to, to experience less stress. The thing is, when we're actually in that stress response, when we have a lot of cortisol running around our body, which is what we need to, to react in emergency situations, but a lot of times this happens, we actually don't need it. It's just the way we're perceiving a situation that leads our body to behave that way. When we've got too much of this cortisol running around in our body, when we're in that stress response, it becomes really difficult to change our perception of, of, of what's actually happening around us. So what I have learned is a really simple breathing practice that enables you to, to change that survival response, that survival response that is triggered by the cortisol running around in our body, which is actually triggered by the engagement of our sympathetic nervous system. With just this five minute practice a day, it allows you to, in the long term, retrain your brain so that your stress threshold raises, which means that you don't get stressed or you don't get triggered by the things that used to trigger you. Because what it actually does, this breathing practice, triggers the parasympathetic nervous system, which actually slows our breathing rate down. It slows our heart rate down and it allows us to move out of that survival response. What it also does over the long term is that it reduces the amount of cortisol running through our body. And this has a beneficial effect on our estrogen levels, which means that it's going to affect any symptoms that we have associated with menopause in a positive way. It also, over the long term, can increase energy and vitality too, and we all want more of that in this phase of life. So this breathing practice is so simple. Anybody can do it. Absolutely anybody can do it. And I'm going to demonstrate this with you now. Now, if you are driving or you're operating machinery, then um, pause the video and come back to it later so you can practice with me because it does require full focus. Practicing this breathing practice increases clarity. It increases your memory retention. It increases focus. It increases the oxygen in your body, which means that you're going to raise your immunity. And we all want more, more of that at this time. And it also means that we're going to increase energy and vitality and we're going to be able to stay calm, whereas normally we might have reacted in a different way. So you can practice this anywhere. 
And with regular daily practice, it does eventually retrain your brain. But you can use it just in the moment as well to release stress, to actually reduce your stress. And I'm sitting on a yoga mat at the moment, um, but you can do this in a chair. And most people prefer to do it in a chair. Um, if you are sitting on a chair, you want to make sure that your, your spine is in this lengthened position. And even on a yoga mat, I sit on a block to give me more height, gives me a lot more height, which allows me to really lengthen my spine. And with my spine lengthened, it gives a lot more lung space in my body. So I'm able to get a lot more air into my lungs to increase that energy flow because we all want more energy, uh, oxygen flow in our body. It's going to make um, a huge difference to uh, health over the long term. So wherever you are, if you're in a safe place, a place where you can relax and you can focus, it's a lot easier if you begin with your eyes closed. So making sure that your spine is lengthened, making sure that your shoulders are back and down because it's gonna give you more chest space. It's gonna give you more lung space. Your hands loosely in your lap. You can do this at your desk at work. And breathing in to your lower lungs. So place a hand over your abdomen so that you can feel the rise and fall of your abdomen. So taking a breath into the base of your lungs and as you inhale, expanding your abdomen, you can see your abdomen rise. And as you exhale, the soft pulling in of your abdomen. As you breathe in, you're breathing into your lower lungs and you're lowering your diaphragm to give you more lung, lung space. And as you breathe out, you're releasing from the lower lungs, which pulls the diaphragm up, allowing you to, to release as much air from your lungs as possible. You can close your eyes. You'll probably find it a lot more beneficial by closing your eyes. This is a natural breath. This is a breath that we are born with. But as we move through life, we get used to doing that shallow breathing, which actually increases stress. So this slow, deep breathing into your belly really allows you to slow your breath down and your breath slows down naturally all by itself, just by focusing on your breath and by focusing on that rising fall of your abdomen. So really closing your eyes and really focusing on that breath, feeling the expansion of your abdomen as you breathe in and feeling that soft pulling in of the abdomen as you breathe out. And as your breath slows down, it triggers that parasympathetic nervous system, which allows you to feel calm. The parasympathetic nervous system is the system that we're in when we feel at our most relaxed, when we're resting. Focusing on your breath. If you feel your mind wandering, just bring it back to your breath. And that soft expansion of your abdomen as you breathe in. And that soft pulling in of the abdomen as you breathe out. This is a beautiful natural breath, gentle, slow, and even flowing. There's no effort in this breath. And just by focusing on it, it slows down all by itself.
And then once you've done some deep breathing with your abdomen, it's called belly breath. A lot of people call it belly breath. You can increase that lung capacity. You can either stay here and focus on this belly breath, or you can increase that lung capacity. So next time you breathe in, focusing on the inhale, expanding your abdomen, your rib cage, and then your chest. And you might like to place the second hand on your chest so you can feel the movement. And as you exhale, releasing the air from your chest, softening through your chest, your rib cage, and your abdomen pulling your navel in quite firmly to the base of your spine. As you breathe in, breathing you to your lower, your middle, your upper lungs. And you're expanding your lungs to their maximum capacity. But there's no pushing, no pushing in this breath. And as you breathe out, you're releasing from your upper, your middle, your lower lungs pulling your navel in firmly to the base of your spine. So as you pull your navel in, you're pushing your diaphragm up, which allows you to release as much air as possible from your lung space. As you inhale, expanding your abdomen, your rib cage, your chest, filling your lungs to maximum capacity. As you exhale, releasing from your chest, your rib cage, your abdomen, pulling your navel in firmly to the base of your spine. Focusing on this complete breath, which is filling your lungs to maximum capacity. As we fill our lungs to maximum capacity, we increase the oxygen in our body and an increase of oxygen encourages memory retention, helps us think more clearly, improves our immunity, improves our long-term health, increases our energy and vitality. And then, Coming back to that natural breath. On the inhale, that gentle expansion of the abdomen as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, that soft pulling in of the abdomen. you feel your mind wander, just bring your mind back to your breath and that beautiful expansion of your abdomen as you inhale and that soft pulling in of your abdomen as you exhale. And when you feel ready, just open your eyes. You can either practice this breath when you feel stressed, or if you make a commitment to practice it for five minutes a day, it has the potential to change the way you're viewing your world, to rewire your brain so that you no longer get stressed over the same things that doesn't have the same effect. Just five minutes a day, an easy practice just five minutes a day. And it's making a commitment to you, your long-term health and your energy and your vitality. Lots of love to you. Thank you for joining me. And I trust that you found this helpful. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. You can share this video with your friends. And remember to subscribe 
subscribe to my channel and click the bell for notifications to make sure that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.